listen to those birds. So we thought this would be a good time, while well, there's nothing else to do, to go ahead and stain and seal our deck. It was needing it. So our backyard looks like a train wreck. We had to put everything back here while we were staining and sealing. Meanwhile, this big planter fell over. That's a big mess. So now, I'm gonna take the pressure washer to everything, get it all nice and clean. Clean all this bird poop off everything. Put it all back on the deck and grill out tonight because this weather is beautiful. Everything's cleaned up real good. And we are ready to grill out tonight. All right, now we're talking. It's Monday morning and I have 29 eBay orders to ship out. Let's get to work. All right, all this stuff here I pulled from stores already. This Cincinnati Bearcats hat. I've only got a dollar or two into this. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. This Rusty Wallace car, uh, part of the recent bulk buy of cars that I made. This sold for $9.99 plus shipping. And this is going to a viewer named Alfredo. Alfredo, thank you for the business. I hope you like the car. These three yearbooks are all from Yale. Uh, they're from the 50s. I've only got a few dollars into all three. And somebody sent me an offer for $36 free shipping for all three. And I accepted. So this Winslow backpack. I got this retail arbitrage for about five bucks. It sold for $13.99 plus shipping. That's going to have a viewer named Dana. And he sent a note with a purchase. He says, hey, John, I'm a big fan of your channel, even though I am not a reseller. I want to support your store, and this backpack will be great for my Hawking Hills hikes. I live really close to your office, and I'm going to offer to pick it up, but with the current situation, I guess it would be best for you to ship. Thanks, Dana. Dana, thank you for the support, and you're probably right. It probably is best to ship that. So, hope you like the backpack, and stay safe. Okay, a couple more Winslow backpacks. I've also got about $5 each into these. One's a duffel bag. Uh, one buyer bought both of these. The pair sold for $31.48 plus shipping. Next to these two die cast cars, there's a Johnny Benson Cheerios, a Johnny Benson Betty Crocker. Each of these sold for $9.99 plus shipping. And there is one more the buyer got. It is a Kevin LePage. It is up here in A8. This one right here, this also sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Buyer paid shipping on all three of these, so I will combine them into one box and refund the difference in price. Those three diecast cars are going out to a viewer named Angel. Angel, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. Okay, next thing is this lot of Wonder Pony Land ponies. These are not genuine My Little Ponies, although they look really close. These sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next is a Dungeons and Dragons book. This isn't a random lot of stuff that I got, and as soon as I saw it, I knew that I was going to list it separately. I've done really well with D&D stuff, and this is no exception. This sold for $17.99 plus shipping. Sold a pair of socks. These are brand new Thorlo socks. They're vintage, like new old stock. I picked them up at Goodwill for $2. They sold for $8.79 plus shipping. Next is in B4. This is a 1957 Chevy dealership, uh, like a pamphlet advertisement. This is in a lot of paper ephemera stuff I was just showing you guys in my death pile the other day. I've started listing some of that. Not all of it's really worth listing, but this one sold for $19.99 free shipping. Next is in D4. This is a loose tripod plate. Came in the video and audio stuff, the big buy I made a couple months ago. I had this listed for like 15 or best offer. Somebody sent me a best offer of $10 plus shipping and I accepted. Okay, next we're in B5. This is a bin I was just working in the other day. A couple things sold out of here. First is this lot of VHS tapes. These are all new in the plastic. It's a lot of 10. These sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next is a Sony Handycam. This was also in that big death pile of a lot of stuff I was showing you guys the other day and I finally got around to listing it. It is the camera, it's the battery charger, it's got the little uh, AC battery pack thing on here, and some cables and a strap. This sold for $49.99 plus shipping. All right, let's take a break from packing and answer a question. This is from Nick H. He asks, hey John, I was just wondering about how you go about putting your inventory away in each tub. How do you decide what goes in what tub? Love your channel and I hope you and your family are well. P.S. Great haircut your wife did. Yeah, not too bad, right? Okay, so I get this question a lot. Um, you guys have probably noticed my tubs are alphanumeric. So I've got a rack with all the A's, the B's, C's, D's, E's, F's, and then in storage I've got G and H. 
and then each one is numbered one to six. What I'd like to do with my racks is leave space above and on top for bigger, bulk, bulkier, just like awkward shaped items because not everything is gonna fit in these totes. I don't categorize my totes. I'm really trying to maximize the space in each one. So if I just put like all the DVDs in one and all the bobbleheads in another, I don't think it would really maximize the space. So what I do is when I'm listing, I find a tote that has space, preferably one that has a lot of space and I fill it up, put it on the rack and then get another one that has space. So everything's just kind of mixed and matched together, but I feel like that maximizes the space the best. Now, obviously, if these were clear, it'd be a lot better. When I bought them at the time, wasn't really thinking about that. So sometimes, you know, I'll just go around and see which one has a lot of room in there. It'd be a lot easier if they were clear. So I think down the road, I'll probably get all clear totes and use these for something else. Nick, thank you for the question. And if you guys have questions, leave them down below in the comment section and I'll answer them. All right, next thing I'm pulling are some baseball cards. Two Ken Griffey Jr. cards. Let's see. Here's one of them. And here is the other one. Uh, buyer sent me an offer of $16 free shipping for the pair, and I accepted. These are going out to viewer named Brian. Brian, thank you for the business. I hope you like the cards. All right, next is a Bengals jacket. Don't have a whole lot into this. It was part of a bulk buy. Had it on uh, sale, so it sold for $17.49 plus shipping. Next is an A5. This is a pack of transparency film. I got this at a garage show for a dollar. It's also part of the sale I'm running. It sold for $5.39 plus shipping. Okay, sold another board game right here, The Inventors. Actually, I sold the Spy Alley game too, so I'll go ahead and pull that while I'm at it. All the board games are definitely selling right now. Everybody's at home bored, nothing to do. Um, this Inventors game sold for $10.49 plus shipping, and this Spy Alley game sold for $5.99 plus shipping. Next is a power supply. This is for a Panasonic camcorder. This sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Okay, next is a binding system. I got this at a church sale maybe two months ago for $15. Still in the box. Uh, I thought it was new, but it was used, but still in really good condition. This sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Next is a set of four bobbleheads. These are some older Cincinnati Reds bobbleheads. You can tell because three of the four players are no longer on the team. Brandon Phillips, Ensign Volquez, and Jay Bruce. I've got $8 into the set, and I sold them as a set because if you can see the backgrounds of each bobblehead form a picture. So when they're all together, they look like that. These four sold for $34.99 plus shipping. Next is in D3. This is a framed Yankee Stadium photo with a little medallion there. This sold for $19.99 plus shipping. This is going out to a viewer named Adrian. Adrian, thank you for the support. Hope you like the photo. All right, next thing is some ornaments. Probably got a dollar into all three of these. It was part of a bulk buy and Listed them a while ago and they just didn't really sell. So they're part of the sale that I'm running. The three sold for $7.19 plus shipping. All right, next is this diecast bike. This is also part of the recent bulk buy I made of diecast cars. Um, so I've got $5 into it. It sold for $49.99 plus shipping. All right, next is down to D5. This is part of a drone. That's the propulsion system. Kind of looks like some blades or something. These are also part of the sale I'm running. These sold for $7.25, free shipping. Okay, next thing is a Texaco collector plane. And I think it is back here in this box. This is a Stearman biplane model. I have like five or six of these. This is the last one that I'm selling. Um, it was part of the sale. It sold for $10.79 plus shipping. Okay, next is on F5. These are two spark plugs that sold for $5.99, free shipping. After fees and the shipping cost, I will probably only make like a dollar on those spark plugs. And that's okay because I've sold through like 90% of them and I'm all right with just making a little bit with the ones that I have left. Lately with the sale that I've been running, I've been selling stuff pretty cheap with free shipping and I've just been getting roasted in the comment section of the video saying, you're losing money, you know, blah, 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 all this stuff. Guys, the reality of reselling is you're not gonna make money on every single sale that you make and you're not gonna make a lot of money on every sale. Sometimes it's really just best to cut your losses and move on from something. This happens in all businesses, big retailers, Walmart, Target, whatever it is, they clear stuff out, they move on, they cut their losses, and then they go on to the next thing. Any veteran reseller that tells you they've made money on every deal is lying. So if you guys made a bad buy, or if you need to sell something and just get something back for it, don't beat yourself up about it. It's not a big deal. This is one sale in 30 
where I, you know, I only made a tiny bit of profit. Obviously, this is not a business model that you want to have for all your items. <laughs> if, if all 30 of my sales today were just spark plugs that made a dollar, then yeah, I'd kind of be hurting, but that's not the case. So try to look at the big picture, and when you lose a little bit of money, don't sweat it. Just move on to the next deal and learn from it. Okay, going to B3. Sold this Roku. It did not have the remote, so it didn't sell for a whole lot. Sold for $13.99. Free shipping. Okay, next is Hot Wheels. These are two Zender Fact Hot Wheels. These two sold for $7.99 plus shipping. These are going up to viewer named Kevin. Kevin, thank you for the support, man. I really appreciate it. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.